Welcome to room 21434 at MGM Grand Las Vegas. This is a Skyline Terrace Suite. Before we get that way though, I'm going to turn left into the guest bathroom. There's a toilet and a mirror. There's me, hello, how's everyone doing? I'm gonna back up again. And we're not gonna go up the stairs yet either. We're gonna take another left into this dining area, if you wanna call it that. There's a TV there that is not visible, I guess you could say, if it's off. And uh, it's on right now, so you can see it. Four chairs. And again, I'm going to turn around. You'll see some artwork on the wall by the entrance. And there's a wet bar here. Turning a little bit further, we enter the living room. And there is... Um, a banner, if you want to call it that, some type of light up picture around the couch, which gives a little ambiance and color to the room, which is pretty cool. And the TV is over there. That window opens. I just have it closed right now. It is nighttime. Again, if you saw my Rio video, somehow I checked into this room at 2.30 in the morning also. One of those things. Let's go up the stairs. And these stairs kind of go back and forth. So we have to turn this way, you'll see me again. Hello, mirrors all the way up the stairs. Keep going up. And this is like a loft area. So I'm gonna turn around one more time. The bedroom is straight ahead. There's this nice large light that kind of hangs down over the dining room table. And if you want a view of this, there's also a window up here. Some curtains I can close. I'm gonna turn left one more time into the bathroom. Very well lit, double sinks, big tub, jacuzzi tub. It does have some jets in the bottom too. And the shower is pretty cool, albeit a little bit broken. So I'm gonna turn it on. Oops, I'll try again. Okay, as you can see, there it goes. And it says shower on there. And the light shouldn't be flashing like that, but I feel like this is a little old. So I'm going to hit OK anyway, and the shower is going to turn off. So I'm going to turn it on for a second. You'll see the current temperature and the set temperature, and then I'm going to turn it off. So here we go, on. And off. Oops. I hit it too many times. I was beeping like crazy. I haven't quite figured out all the nuances of the shower yet. There are some jets in the front, and there are four rainfall shower heads on the top, which look amazing. There's also a large seat. I like these things, I like to call them seats in the back. And the toilet is over here, along with this lock wall pattern, glass pattern thing that's there. And that's on this door also. Again, hello, and we're gonna turn left into the bedroom. There is a table here with a nice chair if you want to do some work. There's the window. This one looks towards New York, New York. King size bed. And the closet is on the left. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I have a few things in here, like the sweater I was wearing on my way here because it was cold, windy, and rainy in Vegas today. But it's a decent sized closet, nothing special. There's a view of that. Again, I'm gonna back up and just show the bed and stuff one more time before we go downstairs and outside onto the terrace. By the way, there are switches all over this room. I will show you as we approach this one here. To control lighting and stuff in the room. So you can control like bedroom, everything has like patio accent on, living room accent on, dining room accent on. There's all these different settings. It's a little confusing. And one thing I didn't show, which I'll show before we go outside, is there is basically a rack in the room. So any type of people who know racks will be kind of impressed with this. It, this is locked by the way, but just that there's this large rack, literally rack set up in the room for all the tech is pretty amazing. Um, you can sync audio between rooms kind of sort of, I feel like my room is kind of a dud. Uh, so before we go on the patio, some things don't really work right, but we're gonna go ahead and go on the patio anyway because this view is spectacular. Welcome to the terrace. It's a little dark out here, but this is the terrace. That's lit up, kind of, sort of. 
one of these two things is lit up. The right one is not lit up, but there's another table out here. There's a lounge chair. I don't know if it's gonna be bright enough. Right here, a couple chairs here and a small table, which is definitely not bright enough. So I'll do some shots during the day. And here's that day shot first is those two chairs and table that were really difficult to see in the dark. Next up is that lounge chair slash day bed, which is a great place to hang out on. Behind that is a dining area with about six chairs at a large table. To the right is the couch and TV area. And last up is my favorite spot, which is the high bar with the two chairs overlooking the strip, which we're going to take a closer look at right now. This, though, is really cool. There's like a set top bar couple of chairs I'm just want to get a really or a better picture of this here and the view of the strip backing up hopefully I don't run into anything view of the strip New York New York Park MGM Aria Waldorf Astoria Vidar is in the background I can't really see it Cosmo you know everything is here Planet Hollywood everything this view is one of the best views I've ever had in Vegas gigantic balcony but you can see this lights out and this fan light is on but the rest of the lights are out and the two tall things in the background the lights are out on those too i got this tv to turn on it took me a while but i got to turn on and there are speakers on the patio which is pretty cool but it was a whole thing <laughs> anyways this is room 21434 Skyline Terrace Suite at MGM Grand Vegas. We're almost at the top of the hotel. Let me back up one more time. We're almost at the top of the hotel. There's only maybe two more of these above me. And uh, one thing that's not gonna show up right now, there is a, like a subwoofer, I'm pretty sure subwoofer down here. And this grill, it's gonna be hard to see. I'll cut in a day shot so it's easier to see. There's a grill here that was literally on the ground and the subwoofer, the bottom one, looks like it's been kicked in or something. So uh, tech needs to come up here and fix everything. But this view, the view though, the view though is spectacular. So if you don't care about tech, you're okay with tech maybe being broken in your room and all you want is a spectacular view of Vegas, this is it. This is definitely it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.